A very common question that I get is how do I contact Squarespace support? That's a good question. You could go one of two places, either their contact us page or their help.squarespace page, which is their help center. If you go to the help center, you're going to be able to search through all of their help guides and they have a lot of them. Granted, it's a tech company. Tech and the internet in general run on lightning speed. And so things are changing all the time. And I've heard a little bit of complaints lately that they they haven't updated their own like videos. And I mean, no wonder they have probably thousands of them and that's probably a pretty difficult thing to track. So if you can't find your answer there, or if you read the guide and you need the video, but the guide's updated and the video's not, you need to reach out to a person. That's okay. That's what they're there for. They do have live chat support and they have email support. They do not have phone support, but their live chat support is open from like 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's a a large portion of the day, which means they're almost always available when we're working. If you're, you know, working during Eastern Standard hours. If you're not and you need help during the off hours, their email support is actually pretty good too. And you typically will hear back within 24 hours. That's just, they're pretty fast. So either way, whether you're using the contact us page or the help center, I'll show you the tip and trick that I use to get to a human being the fastest, because yes, you're going to hit AI bot if you jump into that chat at any point. Before I dive into that though, if we haven't met before, my name is Caitlin. I run Launch the Damn Thing. I'm a Squarespace educator and web designer, graphic designer by trade. So I've been using the platform for a long time and I know a lot of tips and tricks that can help you get things done a little bit faster, like today's tip on contacting Squarespace support and bypassing that really annoying, basically never useful in my experience, AI bot. So let's dive in and today's gonna be a short video. Now I'm going to walk you through how to to contact Squarespace from their help center because it's super easy. It's just probably a little bit less obvious than you might think, but I'm sure they did that on purpose because they host millions of websites and there's millions of people asking for help. Let's take a look. If you go to help.squarespace.com, you'll land here. If you have a Squarespace account and you're logged in, it might refresh when you get here again so that it can tell who is accessing this page. It doesn't require that. You don't have to have an account to get here. Um, but if you know, if you do have an account, just know when you get here, it may refresh and it might log you in or um, show you a different, slightly different login screen up here at the top if it recognizes your account. So from here, if you go all the way to the bottom down here, uh, there's a little chat bot icon. If you click on that icon, you'll immediately get the Squarespace bot, as you can hear. And this is an AI thing. This is not a human being. As you're probably aware, it's probably why you're watching this video. All you have to do is type in a message that says, talk to a person. If you have searched already and you can't find the answer and you just want to talk to a human being, literally just say that talk to a person. So now we get a response from the AI bot and they want me to pick uh, a topic. So I'm just going to say site design. You can pick whatever's most relevant for you. Now they're going to ask, how do you prefer to connect with us? What the options are going to be will depend on the hour that you are choosing to interact. So if the live chat is open, you will see that as an option. If it's not open, you'll only see send us an email. Either way, live chat's obviously faster, but email, you still get a response typically within about 24 hours. So let's do start a live chat. Now it's going to ask for my name, email, and the website that I'm having the question about. So I'm going to put in Caitlin. After you filled out those three things and sent each one, you do have to click the airplane icon for each one to send them individually. It will then ask you to briefly say what your question or query is about. Now it's going to connect me to an expert and... That usually happens fairly quickly. I'm going to now cancel this chat because I don't actually need to talk to anybody. But if you wait in the queue, you'll get the noise as soon as someone connects and he'll introduce himself, he or she will introduce themselves. And that's basically all there is to it. So after the chat, I think they have it set up now to automatically email that email address that you put in at the beginning, the transcript of the chat. So it'll show up in your inbox, whether or not you want it. <laughs> and then they'll probably send you a separate email asking how they did. You can have a chance to leave them a review. So that's it. 
It's a really fast process. It's just a little bit harder to figure out. If you happen to go to the contact us page instead, you can still do the same thing. It's just a little bit different of a process. So you can tell them whether or not you have an account. So if I don't have an account, I can choose a topic. Let's pretend I have a question about billing and payment. Then I can select the closest thing to whatever my query is. Let's pretend that that's my question. They'll ask you to check out their help center stuff first. And you probably should because most questions can be answered with that first. And if it does not answer your question, then again, the options that will show down here will be based on whether or not the live chat is open. So if it is, and it tells you the hours for that right here, 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if it's open, you can start a live chat from here in the same way that you did before. And then if the email is all that's available, they respond 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you typically hear back within about 24 hours. Often a lot less than that, or at least that's been my experience as a circle member. I can't speak to every account, but uh, that's my experience. So if I start a live chat now, you can see that's going to go through the same process. It pulls up that chat bot. It asks me to enter my name, my email, my site URL, and the issue description. A little bit different set of questions, but it's going to do the same thing. As soon as I submit that, then it's going to route me to the closest person that can help me. I hope that was helpful for you. Contacting Squarespace doesn't have to be hard. It feels like it because they're a giant corporation and they serve a lot of people. So they have a lot of people reaching out. All text companies and services do. So I hope that this helps you get in there a little bit faster and quicker and solve your problems a little bit easier. That's all I have for you in this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.